Christian rappers infiltrate a worldly open mic. What unfolds will leave you speechless. I've never felt more like a sinner. You pray for it, but you ride all night, we preach Jesus through our music. Stop acting like you're happy because you're not. He who do no sin, we can't sin. Break your hearts and ask God, like, are you in a relationship with him? They don't like this message, they get mad. I don't care, they're gonna have to kick me out, they get the wrong person to fight. Their response? Shockingly blatant mockery of Jesus and the Holy Spirit. What kind of wine did Jesus turn the water into? Was it Masuda? Oh, sangria makes sense. They had all the fruits. Every fruit of the Spirit, hallelujah. After preaching the gospel of Jesus, some were moved by the Holy Spirit and came outside to receive prayer. God moved. You can't deny the power of God. People were convicted. Also the Lord, the glory of God. And we come to a club, a nightclub, strip club, trap near you. With the God. What's up, family? We are downtown Orlando, as y'all can see. So we are infiltrating the worldly open mics, the worldly shows. The Bible says you can think you without seeing the seed. It's his blood that washes you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to Mahi Tahi. I don't know what this is, but I did hear it's like a worldly spot, which is great. It's very dark, which is amazing, because we're going to bring the light of Jesus Christ. Come on. And we're gonna go in there, we're gonna witness our Christian rap songs and, and we're gonna give testimony, but strategically, mm. and I can expect it, hopefully we can go last. I'm gonna ask if we can go last on purpose. And then we're gonna have an altar call and all that. If one person gives their life to Jesus, we won. And we're excited, we got the whole gang here, man, from the church, we got some of the people that came to support and pray and be in, and intercede too, man. And for all the people that are here that are not performing, they still have an opportunity to witness the people in the, in the spot. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be serving drink, drinks, right? Hey, so they're gonna, they gonna be serving that alcohol. I'm gonna get some soda water. I'm gonna walk around, look like I'm drinking something, but it's gonna just be regular water. And we're gonna, we're gonna win souls, man. That's the whole point. Come on. You can't win souls as a religious Pharisee. You gotta really blend in, adapt. Because think about it, Jesus won the drunkards to Christ. Where were the drunkards hanging out? At the wine cellar, the, the bars, the, the cellars, and all that stuff. So in order for Jesus to get them, he had to go in. You see, he wasn't partaking in those activities, but he was going there with a strategic plan to bring them out the darkness. If you're not bringing your light to the darkness, how could you win them to Christ? For all you religious Pharisees, I love you. God, I pray that you <laughs> repent. And if you comment some crazy stuff, we're gonna block you. <laughs> I'm, I'm being honest. You see, look, look, you see, you see that? You see, you get this Dana? She don't play, she gonna block you. <laughs> but still, I love you, but we don't want no hate, no negativity. We just want love. And if you, got, if you ain't got nothing, nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Right? You know, y'all know that saying, so. Because maybe you'll catch it later. God bless. Salute. Let's get it. I got one. Matt, hey, Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 through 16. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, I know what that means, man. We're going to go out there and we're going to let the light shine. And we're going to glorify our Heavenly Father. And we're going to and we're gonna let the good deeds show, man. We're not going to be drinking. We're not going to be smoking. We're not going to be out there trying to holler at guys or girls. We're going to be really locked in with a mission and assignment to win souls and, and pray for people. I love Holy Spirit. Come on. I love your presence. Woo! He's here. Because I love my love. What's up, family? We are at My Tide. But long story short, man, we out here, we're gonna perform. We all have songs that we are submitted. Um, this is a worldly, a worldly lounge. But we're not looking like we're super Christian. Just because we Christian doesn't mean we can't get fly. So what I was thinking is I was gonna give like my, obviously, you know, the testimony. Let them know, you know, where I came from and how, you know, people think that, you know, people want to be famous. That's that. That's what the God put on my heart. And people, how they chase the fame and they chase it. And I'm gonna say that I had an opportunity to get it. And I said, no, because I want to give God glory. And then right there, I'm gonna drop the song. In the beginning of my song, Baskin, it says, they talking like, boy, you changed. We don't know what's, so it's a, it's a testimonial song, low key. So my plan, I say it because the Holy Spirit usually always changes everything up, but I plan to just like give the 
background of my song. The song is called More Like You, just about how like my heart wants to be more like Jesus. So um, I'm just gonna kind of give the background of the song and then just kind of go into it and see what the Holy Spirit does from there. My The way I'm gonna try to take it is um, letting people know about like what we experience on this side. I'm performing um, Power, which is excusia in Greece, uh, in Greek. So um, it's gonna just exemplify the power that is in Christ Jesus and how they're on the wrong side. So yeah, I'm excited. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Master Armor Bear, what you gotta say? God gonna be glorified tonight. No, who knows what's gonna happen? Holy Ghost, have your way in Jesus' name. Everywhere I go, it don't matter. I'ma preach the gospel. Shining right up in the darkness, feeling like a light pole. I just got a word of knowledge that she's suicidal. Is that you, Chanel? Yeah. Everybody say, hey, Chanel. Yeah. Hey, Chanel. Come on up here. Hey, everybody. A little bit of the backstory on my family. I'm Chanel. I'm performing an original song. Um, it's honestly, it's about when I gave my life to Christ. I don't know how many Christians do we have in here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm a cussing Christian. Oh, man, I don't know about that one. Y'all better praise the damn Lord in here right now. Um, so, when I, or when I first gave my life to Christ, he was teaching me a lot about surrender and what it really means to surrender to him. And he was showing me just that my desires were not his desires and it broke me a lot so i wrote a song just asking him to make me more like him so that's what this song is about so i hope you guys enjoy it <laughs> relationship with all of you guys and I hope this this song resonates with you all and the the power and authority that comes with following Christ and all of you could accept him and believe him and he could change your life Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
We go to tour all the churches, dog. Yeah, we go take all the churches. All the mega churches? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love all friends. Yes, I, I just want to say one last thing, though. I, I want you guys to, like, actually... Like in in this moment, I want you guys to to ask God, search your hearts, and ask God. Like, are you in a relationship with Him? It's not about religion, going to church every Sunday. It's about a relationship, knowing Him for real, for real. That's why I came. God bless you guys. Have an amazing night. Prepare yourselves for the rest of the night. Make sure you get your name back in that purse. And then God was like, Nah, put that strap down. No, 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 no. Oh God, I love this. I'm gonna take this practice though in Jesus' name. Amen. She robbed and give 10% to the <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. See, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see, see. That ties. You can't rob and pay ties. That don't go together. Yes, you can. Carlos Cabrera, y'all need to go for him right now. So what's up guys, my name is Oh, did you say you were trying to get something out of here? Get some food. Oh, oh okay. I was like, my dog, nigga, where we at? Hey, everybody give it up for my beautiful wife right here. I got my beautiful wife. Okay. There you go. Hey, that's how you clean it up. Hey, 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 that's how you clean it up. Hey, 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 she like girls, she like girls too. Shut, shut up. No, shut up. He said, that's my wife. Hey, that's my wife, right. that's my wife right there. So yeah, my name is Carlos Rivera, I'm from Orlando, Florida. What's my, where my people from Orlando at? Orlando in the house? Orlando in the house? Okay. Oh, east side, y'all in the east side of Orlando? No, no. 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 West side, west side. It's all in the west, my boy. Hey, I didn't choose the side, baby. I know, I know. Well, so yeah, I'm from Orlando, Florida, man. And I'm here to do some music. But before you can know about, before I can just play a song, I want y'all to know about the artist. So, I went, I'm from the east side of Orlando. And um, I went. I always had questions, and I was always wondering, like, what, like, why are we here? And I was always trying to figure out what's the meaning and the purpose. I figured out that everybody's a slave to something. So you got to figure out what you a slave to. You got to figure out because you, you, regardless, you a slave to your emotions. You a slave to money. You a slave to something. And I thought for a minute that I thought that I was a god. I, I thought I was that, like, I had all these, like. I didn't care about religion. I didn't care about nothing. I thought that it was me. I thought that it was me. I had self-exhortation and I, I would meditate. I used to meditate a lot because I thought that I was trying to balance my chakras. I used to walk barefoot. I don't know if anybody knows about grounding. And trying to understand myself and my consciousness. And I was trying to do all these things to learn about myself and all these things that try to make myself feel good. And then it wasn't until I had an encounter. I had an encounter with the devil. The devil tested me and he tempted me for my soul. I don't know if y'all believe in the devil, but it doesn't matter what you believe, he's real. Yeah. And he came to me and he asked me, he said, I like what you're doing there, but I want to take it to another level. And he offered me fame and fortune for my soul. For some reason, I didn't want it. I said no. And I realized that if he's real, that means that God is real. Yeah. And when I figured out that God was real, ah. when I figured out that God was real, I was like, man. So then I decided to make music for the Lord. Facts. Y'all wanna, can y'all turn up with me though? Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah. Turn up with me, nigga. Let's get it. They talking like, boy, you changed. We don't know what's gotten into you. That boy out the streets, he's starting to preach. You thinking that can be a miracle? All he talking about is Jesus. All he talking about is reaching. All of these souls are saving the globe. I'll put you tonight, you can meet him. Man, by the spirit, we walk in my faith. But I love myself, what I'm thinking is faith. Let him say it, let him say it, let him say it. Glory be to God. Man. 
Yeah. And look, nobody told me to follow God. Nobody. A man can only speak on the things that he's been through. And I've been through some things. And I've seen a lot of things. And I've studied a lot of different things trying to find him. Because inevitably in your mind you're searching. Inevitably in your heart you're looking. And for some reason it always comes so empty. Stop acting like you're happy because you're not. Stop acting like you've got it because you don't. And it's okay. Because there's one that came. He who knew no sin became sin. So that those that know who he is will not perish. To have everlasting life. Look, they say religion. Do I look religious? For real. Do I, do I want to get some slaps? Hey. There's only one way. There's only one. And his name is Jesus. Hey. Everybody hug your neighbor right now. Hug your neighbor right now. The neighbor. Y'all can't do it with this. Hey, what my saying is that. I need to hear y'all out there. Come on. All my pre-Ks. Come on. Hey. I got a question, real quick. But I like him. I like all of them. Like, we all go to the same church. Is it this point? Y'all Oh, I like Oh, her. she throw her church side. I like y'all. I like church side. I like y'all. Like 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 what do you do y'all? Like when y'all get married, like what do y'all listen to when y'all hunt? Like do like is there Christian hunt? Yes, it is. <laughs> what is it? Alone? What kind of wine did Jesus turn the water into? Was it Moscato? I think it was sangria. It was sweet sangria. Red. I sangria. think it was it, it had to be either sangria or Moscato. That don't have to really I, I, I think it was sweet red. red. I think no, it, was, it was sangria. Oh, sangria makes sense. They had all the fruits. It's true. It's yep. true. Every fruit of the spirit. Hallelujah. Yeah. See how you did that? Yes, God. Hey, okay. I got the Y'all keep happy. I was deep in the blue head ear seeing sacrifices, seeing herbal baths and, st and crystals and evil eyes. I went to Haiti. Where my Haitians at? Yeah. yeah. I've been to Haiti. I've been to, I flew into Port-au-Prince, went to Jacmel to the Ugan. I was going to be a dual inducted warlock. I've been to New Orleans. I've seen Solange, Solange Lowe's, her family right in front of me doing witchcraft with the warlock that was training me up. I was moving hundreds of pounds of marijuana. I was selling all types of drugs. I was making a hundred bands plus a month. I own properties in California, eight different vehicles. I had money. I had every woman you can, you can imagine. I lived in Greece, London, Paris, Barcelona. I've been all over the world, Amsterdam, Prague, all over the Caribbean, all over the U.S. I rose up trap holes all over the U.S. with my people because I was born and raised in an area where that was glorified. I'm from Broward County. I don't know who's from Broward, but I'm from Broward. I'm from an area where, where sex and drugs is glorified. So I was really about that life. Was never raised in the church. Never played the keys for a church. Like my man right here probably, probably does. He played for a church. Well, he actually does. I was that guy in the club pounding bottles. Getting drunk next to LeBron, next to the future with people that were killers. I was with the Asian Mafia. I was in Tijuana with the Mexican cartel. This is not a joke. I didn't get arrested. I didn't almost get killed. I was seeking for the purpose of life. And I traveled and tried to do everything. 
You see, people think they know, but I know when you empty inside because I was that guy at the bar. I was that guy getting drunk. I would out drink. Hennessy used to be my, my best friend. But now there's a new wine. I didn't come to Christ because of religion. No pastor prayed over me. I didn't go to a church. I had a supernatural encounter with the Holy Spirit in my apartment alone. I had altars on my, on my kitchen counter. Statues, beats around my neck, doing witchcraft regularly, murder, homicidal thoughts. You see, people think this stuff is a joke. So I was really on that demon time. But when I had that encounter with Jesus Christ, and people think it's cap. You see, the Bible says the cross is foolishness to those who perish, but it is the power of God unto salvation. It's not a joke. I don't preach for money. I don't preach for fame. I don't preach because I want you to come to my church. I could care less about your tithes and offerings. You come to the church, we go to. You see supernatural power. Everyone say power. Power. You see the power of the Holy Ghost. Devils are casting out. People are coming from all around the world to be healed. We got people from Germany, China, the Caribbean flying into our church. You think these young people are fire from God because of because of a, of a, of a, of a suit and a, and a nice van? Man, that's all kept. That's all for the birds. Yeah. It's because we all encounter Jesus Christ and we are witnesses of his power. Yeah. You see the way I preach? You see the way I look? You see, I get, I get persecuted left and right from the church. He got tattoos and he preaches. Look how he looks with that chain. They come at me all the time because of that. I don't care because I know where I came from and who I serve now. I, like, like my brother said, everyone is a slave to something. I used to be a slave to that, that alcohol and liquor. I've been to Medellin store and coke with, with, with bricks offered to me for five bands of brick. Think about those prices for those who are trapping. You think you're cool because you trap? All right, you're going to see what happens. It's never a good end. It's a trap. Everyone say trap. Trap. Oh, trap. If people don't like this message. They get mad. I don't care. They're going to have to kick me out. They get the wrong person. I'm like, <laughs> but what I'm about to do... You see, it's different now. I see the faces changing. That's good, though. That's conviction. I'm here to love you and just spread this message because I'll probably never see you again. But I'm going to let you know there's only one way to be saved. It's not through, it's not through Muhammad. It's not through Buddha. It's not through meditation, calling yourself a God. It's only through Jesus Christ. I promise you, Yeshua HaMashiach, he wasn't a white man. People think he was a white man with blue eyes. Let me tell you something. I've met Jesus Christ. And his supernatural power is so real, it's not even about color. It's like I've seen him in the spirit realm. I've seen demons. I've seen angels. This is not a joke, my brothers and my sisters. We are in the end of times. Yeah. And he's going to come back soon. Today is the day to repent and give your life to Jesus, not because of religion, but because you truly believe and you want to inherit the kingdom of heaven. You don't have to be perfect. It's simple. Believing in what he did makes you perfect. Following him is all he wants, he wants you to do. Not be perfect. We all gonna sin. The Bible says if you think you're without sin, you're deceived. It's his blood that washes you. Hallelujah. 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 So I'm done preaching. I'm gonna do one last song for the, for the gang. This, this, is, this is the church we all part of. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that. God is doing it for his glory. Amen. Amen. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel. He swore to rescue us and us 
was with his friend one time and you know couldn't make it but this is one of the chances he's out here he's performing right. mighty man of god this did some great music you know and now we're just gonna take a picture together man brothers in christ God moves. You can't deny the power of God. People were convicted. We rolling deep. Y'all see that? We rolling deep. All for the Lord, the glory of God. Man, I preach the gospel. Hey, we an army, man. And we coming to a club, nightclub trap near you with the gospel. We ain't playing. In Jesus' name. <laughs> 